Hi everybody, Dan Hansen at Junkie of Cedar Rapids. Just doing another video on the CX-90 Preferred Plug-in Hybrid. So, I just had a kind of funny experience while I was trying to make this video. Um, so, to open the fuel door, you actually have to have the car unlocked. And then you can push on it and this will open. Uh, and then you can see all the charging uh, symbols in there. But if I take the key fob and I hit the lock button like that, and you'll watch me push this and try and open it, Felt a bit foolish there for a minute. So, go ahead and hit the unlock button. Pretty easy. This will open right up. You can actually tell that this is the charge side on the passenger side of the car. Um, up on the gauge cluster, the there's an arrow pointing to the fuel side and to the electric side. So, we're going to be using this Lincoln Level 2 charger here. It does say Lincoln, however, because it is a J1776 plug-in, once my camera focuses up, which is basically any charger that isn't a Tesla plug-in or a DC fast charger, like I have mounted over there on my wall, um, you will be able to use it on the Mazda CX-90. So what we're going to do, first of all, is come in here, open this up, you take this little cover out, and then you'll notice it has this little tab. Hook that right, whoop, oh, hook that right there like so. Kind of keeps it out of the way and stops you from dropping it like I just did. Now over here there's a couple of symbols. The solid white indicates that you have set a charge schedule and it is waiting. Uh, the second one indi indicates kind of a similar thing and then you'll notice the circle that when it is that's indicating that this charge light up here is blinking green. That means the battery is actively receiving power and then solid green means you're fully charged any of these over here indicate an error of some sort. So, we're gonna grab our charger, hook over here, line it up, push it in, and click. So you'll notice it comes up white, that indicates that it's waiting. Now it's begun charging, so you'll see it blinking green. Blinking green is the big thing you wanna make sure you see. Something interesting with Mazda over the XC90 Volvo I covered a few days ago, is if I walk up here to front of the car, and this is a little bit tricky to show on camera, but you can actually see on the dash there is a battery that indicates how much charge you have. Um, kind of a cool touch, something I appreciate. You are able to see a charge amount on your My Mazda app as well, which is something I can cover in the future. Let me know if this is helpful on how to charge a CX-90, if there's more information like this uh, that would be helpful. Um, again, Dane Hansen, Junkie Cedar Rapids. Thank you for your time.